You're watching CNA Heroes. Here's Lisa Sweet. Hello, and welcome to yet another edition of CNA Heroes. My name is Lisa Sweet, co-founder of the National Association of Healthcare Assistants. In today's busy world, there are so many things we take for granted. We often complain without making any real effort to even change things. To create change takes hard work and advocacy. Change can and most usually starts with one person, one individual. In today's healthcare world, we become so caught up in tasks and documentation that sometimes the very obvious eludes us. And then a brave and determined person comes along and opens our eyes to the way things could be, the way things should be. And that brings us to this week's CNA Hero. Thank you to KKTV 11 News out of Colorado Springs for initially airing this story. The National Center for Health Statistics estimates that 28 million Americans, about 10% of the population, have some degree of hearing loss. About 2 million of these 28 million people are classified as deaf. They can't hear everyday sounds or speech, even with a hearing aid. Imagine being deaf in a hearing world unable to hear what others are saying and what's going on. Not only can this make for loneliness and social isolation, but for young people who are deaf and wanting to start a career, there are really few opportunities. Then came Susan Haney, a deaf student from Denver, Colorado, who wanted more. She was determined to become a CNA. My shirt today says she believed she could, so she did. And that's what Susan Haney did. She approached the Independence Center CNA training program in Colorado Springs, Colorado, about having an interpreter in the CNA class. They were able to make it happen, and it might be the first of its kind in the country. The class was offered to both deaf and hearing students. After four tough weeks, about a dozen students graduated. Several of them were deaf, and one had even traveled from Maryland. The Independence Center is working with employers for job placement for the students, and none of this would have happened without Susan Haney taking it on. Susan Haney signed we really need more deaf communication access. Senior citizens who are isolated that need communication from people who share the same language as them. So I have been encouraging people to join and understand that need in the community, Susan signed. Many of the deaf students who took the class told 11 News that they had dreams of opening care facilities for and working with deaf patients. They said it's a good opportunity to really open the eyes of those who are not deaf, and it will also serve to inspire other deaf people to pursue their dreams. How incredible. So today, let's celebrate Susan Haney for her passion, her innovation, and her determination to make a difference because she really did. Today we honor Susan Haney, CNA hero.